Outriders, they must raise their bodies up and strike down. And they strike repeatedly, with enough force to penetrate a human toenail. What's up guys, welcome to Grapple. It's a rough world out there, full of poisonous, aggressive, and parasitic creatures that might kill you or at least try to. Even if you're an animal lover, some of these animals on this list make it a little hard to love them. With that said, here are some of the most awful creatures you could possibly encounter, and just how they'll destroy you. Before we get started though, make sure to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite animal? Also, while you're leaving that comment, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you enter in to our monthly shoutout giveaway. The stonefish is the most venomous known fish in the world, found on the coastal regions of the Indo-Pacific. And you probably won't even notice it's there before you've already stepped on it and triggered a sting. Their name comes from the extremely effective camouflage that makes them look like nothing more than a rock. They even act like a rock, tending to remain very still, waiting for prey to come to them. Their dorsal fin spines will inject venom comprised of potent neurotoxins if they're disturbed, which causes pain and, if left untreated, can be fatal. And if you think you're safe just by being cautious of rocks when in the water, think again, as you might actually have a run-in with a stonefish just sitting on the beach when the tide is low, as they can survive out of water for up to 24 hours. There it is. Uh, not a stone, but a stonefish. What an amazing beast. It really does look like a piece of rock. This is camouflage taken to the nth degree. What makes stonefish even more dangerous is that they can quite happily stay out of water for up to 24 hours, making them all too easy to step on when the tide retreats. Just a little way back from the point is the, uh, that's where the venom is. And what happens is if you tread on one of these, uh, it's your body weight that injects that. Not only are black mambas one of the longest and fastest snakes in the world, they might top the list for the most terrifying. They can grow up to 14 feet long and travel at up to 12.5 miles per hour, and they're the most likely snake to hunt down a human that enters their territory with the intent to bite them. They're known for their high level of aggression, biting repeatedly when threatened and injecting large amounts of venom per bite. And it only takes two drops to kill a person if left untreated. Black Mamba venom has been known to cause fatality in as little as 20 minutes, and the potent neurotoxins that make up the venom can induce a nasty number of symptoms within just 10 minutes. Yeah, if you see one of these, it's probably best to turn the other way. This black mamba is trapped and nervous. It will strike repeatedly, given the chance. Its fast-acting venom can kill a grown man in 20 minutes. No, I think we need to go outside. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's do it out there, then. I've got it here, yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. His tail slipped out of my hand. I've only got his head. OK. All right, don't go near the bag. So it's a very dangerous snake, that one. The Lonamia caterpillar is the larva form of the giant silkworm moth and is known for its defensive bristles that can inject a particularly nasty venom. While it would take multiple stings to experience the full effect, the venom contains an anti-clotting agent that can cause massive damage to the victim. The eternal bleeding can then spread through their body and lead to brain death accounting for a few hundred human deaths the caterpillar has caused. Most of these cases were reported in southern Brazil by people who had handled vegetation in areas where the caterpillars could be found. Thankfully for us, we don't really have to worry about them, but if you take a trip over to Brazil, be careful. Until Lanamia came along, we had not been exposed to a caterpillar able to release such catastrophic toxins that could easily kill us. Further studies isolated the agents in the toxins contained in a sac at the base of each spine. It was the strongest anti-clotting agents ever found in nature. 
There are a few species of funnel web spider found in Australia, with the most dangerous by far being the Sydney funnel web. The males of the species have the more potent venom and will deliver a full dose of it when they bite, while females have a weaker venom. And while the males have only been responsible for about 13 reported deaths, you still do not want to be one of the 30 to 40 people bitten by them each year. Both males and females are extremely aggressive and will latch on relentlessly when they bite, often needing to be forcibly shaken off. Thankfully, the death count is as low as it is, due to the development of funnel web antivenom. Like other antivenoms, it's required to milk the spiders for samples of their venom, and one dose of the antivenom requires 30 of these milkings. The highest amount of antivenom ever used to cure a bite was 12 doses. That's 840 spider milking sessions. Ew. Sydney funnel webs are easy to spot. They're large spiders with glossy black heads and dark brown bodies, and they're best known for their massive fangs. To work these daggers, they must raise their bodies up and strike down. And they strike repeatedly, with enough force to penetrate a human toenail. Let's be real, wasps and hornets are without a doubt some of the scariest flying bugs out there. They can be most easily distinguished from bees by their lack of fur, and by the fact that they can sting multiple times, whereas the common bee, the honeybee can only sting once. Wasps are also generally much more aggressive, and hornet venom in particular is responsible for much more than painful stings. The Asian giant hornet, the largest hornet in the world on its own, is responsible for about 1,500 injuries, and about 40 deaths every year. Its sting can actually actually cause kidney failure in some victims, which is crazy. But one of the most dangerous aspects of getting attacked by a wasp or hornet is the pheromone they release that will mobilize the entire nest to join in on the attack. If this happens, the only way out is running, and most species will be faster than you, so you better hope that you're wearing your best pair of running shoes if you run into one of these things. Here's a clip. In the lowland forests of Asia, there's an insect with a frightening reputation. The biggest wasp on the planet, the giant hornet. Like most wasps, giant hornets are intensely predatory, gorging themselves on other insects, like this praying mantis. A worker hornet chops up her prey with powerful mandibles. If you thought bees were nicer than wasps, well, you're mostly right, except in the case of the infamous Americanized honeybee. These bees are the result of a breeding experiment by Dr. Warwick Kerr, a Brazilian engineer who wanted to solve the problem of imported European bees being less productive in Central and South America. He crossbred various species of European bees with the East African lowland honeybee, hoping the hybrid species would be more useful to Brazilian beekeepers. Instead, he created a monster. The Africanized honeybee is nicknamed the killer bee, and has been responsible for over 1,000 human deaths. While their venom is the same as a European bee's, they are far more defensive and easily provoked, and will attack in large swarms, chasing the target for up to 500 meters. The African bees proved extremely adaptable to their new home, their numbers soared, and they formed voracious swarms that spread throughout South America and up to the southwestern United States. Easily agitated and quick to attack, they were dubbed killer bees, known to sting humans to death. Swarms react faster than other honeybees and have been known to chase victims for a quarter of a mile.